What up, it's your girl Mena, and in this video, we are going to be testing out new products. I don't know if I have a whole entire full face, but I've got a whole bunch of products that are new that I wanna try out. So let's just get started. And you're probably gonna notice my nails. These are press-ons, that's all that I wear. I just did these the other day. Video is on IGTV, make sure you watch them. The nails are very, very affordable. And there's also a link in the description box to where I purchased my nails. So make sure you take a look at the description box if you wanna reference any of the products that I am using. I've already wet my sponge and then squeezed the excess water out of it. Sponges are linked below as well. Five pack for eight dollars. You can't beat it and I like them a lot. Those are the only sponges that I use because they're really affordable and they work really really well. Now one thing obviously that's not new is going to be the lip primer. I always use this. If you've been around for a while then you know that both on IG and here. Lip primer is important because it'll help your products last longer and this helps my lips stay hydrated. The funny thing is that once it dries it gets tacky so it feels weird and I always say like, Ugh. I put lip primer on and then I talk a lot on the video and it feels so awkward. It gets like sticky feeling, but that's the way that it's working. And you'll note that my face is dewy because I've done my skincare. Skincare is important. Originally, Huda sent me co cocoa and nutmeg, okay? And I was like, uh, ma'am, these ain't gonna work out. This is nutmeg. It just looks really light. It might match my hands, but when I highlight and contour, I think it will look crazy. And this is cocoa, but then again, when they sent the three new shades, I was like, mm, maybe those were my shades. So let's do some swatches. We're not gonna swatch the chest. I'm gonna just do the cheek and I have to wipe it off. So this is Lava Cake 590R. Obvi Ooh, I can use this to contour. Okay, that's a contour color. It's got a red undertone that I'm into. I think ganache is my color. Yes, because when you're matching your foundation, you're not matching to the highlights of your face. You're not matching to the light parts. That's not what you wanna match. You wanna match the outer part of your face and ooh. Now this is looking dewy. I ain't into the dewy finish, face Lord. <sighs> 550 hot touch. Now see, 550R matches the middle of my face. It matches the highlighted areas of my face, which is naturally on all of us, the middle. So really, if I wanted to, I could do two different colors, like 550R in the middle, and then the other one on the outer part, but I like to just do one foundation color, and then obviously when I highlight, it'll all come together, you see? So make sure you're matching to like this part of your face. Ignore the blemish. I hope that it covers the blemish, but if not, I'll just put some concealer on the blemish and keep it moving, okay? This is 510R and the color name is Coco. Let's see what Coco is talking about. Okay, this is uh, obviously like yellow and I don't use foundation as a highlight because usually, especially this one is dewy, so I wouldn't even highlight with this. Ganache is red, they're all red obviously, R is red. All right, so about the foundation, it's supposed to melt into the skin, give a natural filtered finish to last 10 hours. It's waterproof, long wearing, humidity and sweat resistant. Huh, how does it set down? Humidity Humidity and sweat resistant. This thing is so dewy. I would imagine that if something is humidity and sweat resistant, meaning the humidity outside, which Houston is known for, and sweating, even if you if it's humid and you sweat, your foundation is supposed to still stay and look good. So do I wear this and work out? <laughs> yeah, this is dark in a good way because remember the highlight and contour. It won't be looking stupid when your foundation is too light. <laughs> You know, maybe I should have gone with the lighter one on the inside. I'm so annoyed. This is more red than my usual daily foundations. You know what I'm saying? Using this one from Sephora, number 70 brush. I like this, although because it is so small and like densely packed, you gotta work in small areas versus the other one, the JP one, It like it's bigger so I can cover bigger spaces faster. Because of the highlight and contour really does bring it all in. Like I've used foundations that are my exact shade, but then when I go to highlight and contour, it just is too light. It all ends up being too light. And no matter what, I'm gonna highlight and contour. That's just what I do. So it's just easier to go darker in the beginning to help offset everything. But we're gonna see if that's true. Now look, you saw how dark that blemish was. Wow, it's covered it pretty well. I can still see it, but this is definitely medium. Now I'm gonna, it says it gives you a natural finish. So what does that mean? Like when I think of natural finish, I'm thinking light coverage. So natural finish, like it doesn't look cakey. What does cakey mean? Like what, dry? You know, we gotta be really specific about these things because some people might feel like a full coverage foundation will make you look cakey. No, I only wear full coverage foundations and I never look cakey. You know, maybe you do, but I don't. Oh, bless God, I'm looking red, 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 red. Mm. 
Mm. I don't bring the foundation into the hairline per se because we're gonna contour, so there's no need to do all of that. And I also don't bring this down to my neck, but I do, I do diffuse it out under the chin, just a smidge, you know. Looking red. We know how to fix that. Let me add a little more to my nose. I don't know why, but for some reason my nose always be looking like there's no makeup on it. Like, what is that? <laughs> How does that happen? What is going on with the nose? If you're not in a rush, this is a really good rush. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I forgot to prime my face and I wanted to use the Huda primer. I'm so annoyed. The water jelly hydrating primer. Well, I'll need to use this in a different video. So I'm putting this on without primer. It's not a sin. This is JPJ10. It's light, you know. <laughs> Depending on the foundation you use, your normal products will look differently. So yes, I know that this is light, but because of this foundation, the concealer looks even lighter than usual. But I'm not afraid of that. I know how to make that work. So don't comment and tell me that I should try a different concealer because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this is what I want and this is what I'm going to do. We're like diffusing out the edges and really making it work. My face is looking very dewy. <laughs> very dewy. And you know, for the fall and the cold weather, again, watch my foundation video. This really is a good thing, but clearly not something I would wear just based off of right now in the summertime. Okay, I said I was gonna use the dark one before a different video, but I feel inclined to use it now. So I'm gonna use, I'll use my Fenty one in a different video. I'm gonna use this dark one now. This was Lava Cake 590R to contour. Let's see what she's talking about. Now I want you to comment below and let me know if you use stick foundation as a contour. You know that I have been using the Juvia's Place Congo stick foundation or shade stick as a contour, but that thing's running out to the point where I'm using the brush to dig it inside. We are gonna use Huda's powder. So this is banana bread. Easy bake, loose baking and setting powder. Pack under the eye and T-zone and blah, blah, blah. Let's, say, let's set for three to five. I don't, I don't bake, I set. So I'm not gonna leave this for nobody's minutes because I just don't like that. <laughs> The potential that your stuff gonna look jacked up is higher when you bake, so we don't do that. Other people may do so successfully, but not me. She also came out with a brush. Hold on a minute. I should have used, it's a little dirty because it's been next to my other brushes, so it has gotten dirty. I haven't used it yet though, shoot. I should have used this for the foundation. Oh man, next time. And then the top of it looks like this. I remembered it now. Okay, so let me pack on some of the product so that it's ready. I want it to be ready because this is so dewy. It's not setting under my eye, like it's not matte. So I need to make sure that there are no creases in my under eye area before I actually set it. So I gotta keep my eyes like this. And I already have product here, so here we go. Ah, this is cool. Oh yeah, oh, 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 okay. Huh, is that gonna move? Alrighty. The angle of this brush is fantastic, but I'm worried that it took too much product. Well, I normally don't take this much. Uh, okay, let's dust this away before moving forward, just to make sure that there are no, you know, further concerns, Your Honor. Where's my, oh, bless God. You take a brush like this. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, okay. Let me just keep on going and see, because part of me is, it could be the brush, but part of me is feeling like there's no coverage or not enough coverage right here. It could be the brush. It could be the brush and the whole packed on. That's why I don't, like it really packs it on. Look how much it dried that area. So it could be the brush. So I'm definitely gonna give this another shot and not use the brush. Mm, is there a fragrance? Is there a light fragrance to this? Hold on. Oh, there's a fragrance in this. Ooh. Now, I never tried her other foundation, but I heard how fragrant it was. This one has a fragrance. I don't know how similar or dissimilar it is to the other one. Now, this brush isn't ideal for this under cheek area at all. I can only see it being used under the eye, but. Uh, okay, I wanna take some leftover or just like a little bit and set above my eyes. I do that. I do do that. The rest of the face is looking real greasy, okay, compared to the under eye. It's very greasy. Now, face powder. I don't have a new face powder, so let me just use my usual, which is CoverGirl Deep Cool 2. CoverGirl Deep Cool 2 powder foundation. This is the full spectrum one, and this is what it looks like. It looks really light, but it goes on and it looks really good. This is what I mean. It, it balances everything out. Like, I'm gonna use Scott Barnes Glamazon lip. Oh, bless God, this is a lip pencil. It's a lip pencil. You right, you right.
All right, so for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Warm and Spicy Eyeshadow Palette. You know in my transition color, we gotta do a transition. Make sure that this eyeshadow primer doesn't crease. Once it creases, it'll stay like that and it'll show through the eyeshadow of the transition. That's my usual. Ooh, this, this, stuff's, this stuff has a scent to it. Beautiful. That's my usual reddish brown. I gotta look down a little bit. That's how I avoid the product getting on my face. So let me do that. Let me not play myself. I do have a detailed eyeshadow tutorial on my YouTube channel, so make sure you take a look at that if you want. I wanna use pumpkin spice. It's a little yellowy orange right here between subtle, but do you see it? Between the crease and the brow bone. Just like right there. You really have to have good eyes. You gotta have 20-20 vision in order to see. Them. This color can go on the lid too. Ooh, I like this palette already. I wanna stick in the brown family. I almost wanted to take a purple, but let me stick in the brown family. This is more of the Spice Spice Baby. Just making it more intense. This is Coco Drizzle. I like this palette. Mm -hmm. A little more cocoa drizzle, honey. I want to replace the reddish brown because it disappeared. This is Spice Spice, baby. Maybe I should take cocoa. See, I'm layering. I do a lot of layering. That's what I like to do. You gotta layer until you get the outcome that you desire. I want to make the crease a little bit darker. So here's cocoa drizzle yet again. Just like in that corner back there. And a little bit of a V, but I'm gonna add ginger. What is it? Ginger spice over here as well okay let's do the lid color which is going to be sweetie pie yeah it's like a green like vomit color but in a good way it almost reminds me of a color that Esther used on her eyes let me take ginger spice right now and see something I come right here and then ginger spice again right here now cocoa drizzle I could deepen this out a little more, but we're gonna just stick with it right there. Ooh, I see this blue at the bottom, Spice of Life. I wanna use under my eye. This is kind of colorful, more colorful than I was really like going for when I started, but yeah. I think it's a cute look, what do you think? Comment below and let me. I'm gonna take that blue and make an eyeliner on the top. Let's do that. So this is Spice of Life, it's a violet. All right, and the mascara is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. And you can find a link to them below. Now this tool that I'm using, I bought years ago from someone on Instagram. The name is not even on here. She's an influencer and she came out with it. Uh, it's just a half eye, what's it? Like a half eyeshadow curl, eyelash curler. A half one or a quarter one, whatever you wanna call this. I, I use this when I have nails on and I can't pinch my lashes together. All right, and now the under eye. Now let's take colors down to the under eye. Let me quote ginger spice first, because that'll show faster. And now I'm taking cocoa drizzle, which is the brown, putting it closer to the waterline, not as fanned out as the other one. And then we need, of course, a black eyeliner. Ooh, I need to sharpen this, hang on. And this eyeliner is by Revlon called Sophia's Final Eyeliner, and it's in Midnight Mystery. Bring the eyeliner down to the skin, not just the waterline. It makes it look a little bit more smoky. Although this liner dries oh, wicked fast. <laughs> okay, now for the tear duct. You know that is one of the things that I just love to do is to brighten up the tear duct, okay? And we're going to use, let's see, in the palette, what we got, what we got. It's the color Oh My Gourd. You ain't seeing the gourd very much. There's another one I could have used. Okay, she just needs to be built up. Now we see. Yo, I'm actually glad that I did not use that hydrating water jelly because my face is dewy. This is a dewy foundation, okay? That's the whole skin-like, skin-like nature of it. And that is not usually my zhuzh. Like, it's not really my, my jam. If you watch my primer video and the foundation video, I talk about how the two interact, primer and foundation, and depending on the finish you wanna get, you can really put the two together like you you know use that to pick out what you're going to wear i don't know how that would interact with a very matte foundation i will have to just see but i am never going to put the two of these together i mean the inner eye highlight isn't as bright as i would like like at all it's something but it's not nearly like what i normally like in my inner eye highlight so highlight my face i'm going to use the fetty glow glow what fetty glow <laughs> here it's called fetty glow glow lighter <laughs> It's darker than I like to use usually. This is really like sitting on my face versus melting in. It, yeah, it's darker than I like. This is my damp sponge from earlier. It's not really damp, it's more like cold. It's not like wet at all. It's 
I don't know that it's doing anything. You know, the face combo is really not what I'm used to, like at all, you know? <laughs> but that's one of the things about trying new products. It's like a whole experience. Now I did pick up these three putty blush, I almost said primers, putty blush, I, what in the world? Con ah, what do you call these? Three putty blushes. <laughs> what I don't like about e.l.f. Like their stuff is so cheap that you, they clearly have to skimp on some things. A good amount of their products don't have labels on them. So this is e.l.f. Putty Blush, but the bag says nothing. So outside of the box, I don't know what color this is. So once I get rid of the box, when I use this again and again, I'm not gonna know what's what. This is the color Bali. I don't wanna do this today because it'll match my crease color too much. I really want my blush to show. So let me show you the other one. This is the color Fiji. Fiji looks nice and bright. This is Fiji. It's like a strawberry color, watermelon. I like this. Lightweight, buildable, putty to powder, good, yes. So it'll dry down to powder, good. Use it with your fingers, I don't want to. I'm gonna use it with my damp-ish, almost dry beauty sponge. And then this color, this is wicked light. This is like an accent color. Tricks and care cools, tacks and care cools. Oh, it like doesn't, oh, oh, okay. You have to really get in there. Oh, all right, okay, okay. I actually like that it's not so greasy so that you can really take your time and get the right amount of product. If it took off too much at once, it'd be like, whoa. This is really beautiful. Let me find out. It's giving me rare beauty blush vibes, but I like it in this container. Oh my God, I forgot to do my, bron my bronzer. <laughs> Talking too much. I forgot to do my bronzer. I'm annoyed. Oh, okay, so I can see that and it looks really good. Jesus, I do like this. And now I want to go on the apples of my cheeks with Tacks and Kyokuls. A class we prefer. I hope it ain't ashy on the kid. Can you see it? Slightly, but it makes a difference. I'm into it. We're we doing something right now. Subtle. <laughs> Wanna light me up. How have I not put on bronzer? Like what? In what planet? On what earth? The bronze and the color leader. Okay. It's just so weird, but I'm putting bronzer on top of blush. God. Comment and let me know. Do you think this looks different? For the under eye, I said I was gonna use NARS Climax, didn't I? Let's do that. This is the Scott Bonds. Wow. This is the Scott Barnes lip pencil that I showed you earlier. Glamazon Naomi. 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 I don't like lip pencils that I have to sharpen. I like twist up. Retractable. Yeah, I like retractable, but here we are. So, mm, this is a nice color. It's a nice deep brown with red undertone. Okay, we got a little something going on. Ooh, lipstick. So, if you watch my old MAC lipstick video on IGTV, it's hilarious. You have to watch it. And you know that I was do gonna do back to MAC. I had a lot of lipsticks that needed to go back to MAC. And I got some new lipsticks. This one is Kinkster Matte Lipstick. Never even heard of it. You know, they still have some oldie but goodies. But this is a new one. So, the color is called Kinkster. It looks really cute. Ooh, it's a very unique color. Olive. Wow. Wow. I don't have a matte lipstick that looks like this. When I went, they were having 30% off. Shoot, I should have bought some more of these. Oh, yes. I'm a this lipstick is bomb. It's a very unique color. It's like as unique as this lid color, like olive, like a mustardy olive. This is a nice nude. It's different from my usual peachy nude situation. Wow. Ah. What? You better cut it out. Not now. Amazon Echo acting up. Telling me I got a shipment that arrived. I saw her. She just passed by. You could fall back. I powdered my face at some point. My face is still like getting dewy. Hmm. I wanted to put a gloss on top. Like I wanted to put this Julia's Place La Mariposa gloss on top. But I like this lip too much. I don't know. Should I? Comment and let me know. I'll give you two seconds. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna use Mariposa another day. Wow, so let's talk about it. The foundation, like it matches well. What do you think? I believe everything came together. It's medium coverage, medium buildable, but it's still medium because it didn't build so much to become full because if you still see, you can still see my blemish here. I really have enjoyed wearing this. This I would put on if I'm going back home. Rhode Island, it's wicked cold, okay? So that is where I would wear this. I would not wear this in Houston unless it was a very cold day and I was planning on being outside because in that case the dewiness of the foundation will counteract the cold weather outside and it would be comfortable because I would need the shine I would need the hydration in my skin it's important to understand the different foundations and what environment you would wear that particular one but like my face feels and looks 
healthy. It feels and looks comfortable. Huda, you did something. I'm really into it. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about it. How you think it all came out? What about the eyeshadow palette? I do like that as well. If you've stuck around this long, you need to make sure you subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up as well. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.